Hey you guys and welcome back to Dave's Dungeon. I'm your host Dungeon Master Dave and today we're going to be doing a little housekeeping. Now last time I was a little frustrated. Um, I just got my butt kicked by Kenichiro and Sekiro a bunch. Um, which if you haven't checked that out, um, go check out my page. It's, a, it's the other series running currently. We haven't finished it. As a matter of fact, I still gotta go kill Genichiro because he totally whipped my butt last time. Um, also, just to mention, uh, my Twitter and Facebook links are down in the description of this video, and I'll be putting them on my future videos. So if you want regular updates on the videos coming out, and you want to see some cool memes, because uh, that's what I use that page for, is memes and cool stuff I find, uh, check out my Twitter and my Facebook. So anyways, we're going to get into this episode, but uh, I need to do some housekeeping. Housekeeping. Housekeeping? You want new towel? <laughs> yeah, that kind of housekeeping. So, last time I was frustrated and I wasn't paying attention to what I was picking up, and I actually found a bunch of items that uh, I didn't know I had. Um, we got a new... I guess this is a tool or magic item. Augur of Ibritas. Remnant of the Eldritch Truth. Encountered at Bergenworth. Now I found this at the lecture hall. So Bergenworth and the lecture hall have some sort of connection. Uh, use phantasms, the invertebrates known at, to be augurs of the Great Ones. To partially summon abandoned Ibritas. So Ibritas is a... Uh, old one the initial encounter marked the start of an inquiry into the cosmos from within the old labyrinth so the old labyrinth led to Ibritas which led to Bergenworth studying the cosmos and then led to the establishment of the choir which some of you let me know is are those white robed church members so that makes a whole lot of sense now, I've also found the lecture key. Uh, I figured out where to use this. That's how I found the auger. Um, Two-story lecture building is adrift in the nightmare. So now I know where that is. So it's actually adrift in the nightmare. That makes some sense. But we also, on our forays into... Yarhagul found the upper cathedral key. So this is the key I need to open the door in the tower. The upper echelons of the healing church are formed by the school of Mensis. Okay, so there's two different schools now. There's a school of Bergenworth and a school of Mensis. By the way, Mensis, menstruation, think about blood in very new ways. Uh, based in the Unseen Village, the choir occupying the upper cathedral ward. So, okay, so Mensis, the Healing Church, and the Choir are, are all connected. But I also, <laughs> see, we're doing some housekeeping. I also found the Canehurst Summons back when I was looking in Yosefka's clinic. An old bloodstained summons inviting an honored guest to the Forsaken Castle Canehurst. Rather bafflingly, it is addressed to you. Do not hesitate the stagecoach leaves from Hemwick Crossing. So I gotta go back to Hemwick to use this. Now, finally, Tonsil Stone. I've been thinking about why they would call the beasts that have the weird deformed head amygdala. And or amygdala. And I was thinking back to my days in psychology class. Ah, psychology class. And why call this the tonsil stone? The amygdala, plural amygdala, amygdala also blah, 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 blah. Um, Latin from Greek for almond or tonsil. So that's an interesting note. Is one of two almond-shaped clusters of nuclei located deep and medially within the temporal lobes of the brain in complex vertebrates, including humans. 
shown in research to perform a primary role in the process of memory, decision making, and emotional responses, including fear, anxiety, and aggression. So, there's a bunch of stuff to unpack in that. And by the way, that's from a, a post on the Wikipedia about the amygdala, um, the thing in your brain, not the thing in the game. Um, so, tonsil stone is just another way of looking at the amygdala in your brain. So, thinking about eyes on the inside of your head, what would you see? Thinking about fear, thinking about everything we've seen, the amygdala are one of the scariest things around. And it's having to deal with memory and with decision making and with fear and with memory based on fear. So there's so much just organic symbolism there that it's just kind of impossible to you know, unpack, and then you look at their heads, and they're kind of almond shaped when you look at them front on. They have that larger bottom with a with a more oval pointed top, and you just I didn't see it before, but now I do because I've slowed down and I've and I've looked at it. Now another thing we're gonna do today. <sighs> I haven't done these yet, and I didn't know if I was going to do them. I didn't know what they really mattered for, didn't know what they were kind of doing, until I started thinking about, well, what's this old labyrinth they're talking about? This is the underground old labyrinth. Ritual chalice found in the church of the good, or the church of the good chalice. Using the ritual at the tomb altar in the hunter's dream to break the seal of the old underground labyrinth. Let the chalice reveal the tomb of the gods. Let blood be the hunter's nourishment. Let ye partake in communion. There's a whole lot of things going on there. So, Ibritus was found in one of these things. I don't think I can use that. I have to use this one. And we're going... See, we got ritual blood... Yeah, we're going to create a chalice dungeon. Okay, so now I can explore the dungeon by coming over here, just like we would go over there and visit these dungeons. Now, some of you have let me know, and by the way, thanks everyone who's been telling me stuff about the game and telling me where to go and kind of what I can do and everything else, that I need to do these because they're items... And information locked inside of them and while the information isn't like critical to finishing the game it's pretty important to understanding what all is going on um, also there was one of you who shared um, that I need to complete this at least this one because it'll give me something that I can use further on that I need to get an item out of and you were very specific to say that it was a new weapon that I might enjoy using. So, you gave me specific instructions. I really appreciate that. I'm going to be going through this today. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. But, we're going to figure it out. And we're going to do it together. Um, so, all that talking aside. Sorry it, it took so long. But, all that talking aside. We're going to get into this thing. We're going to be thinking about all the things we just read and explored there because so much of this is locked in the item descriptions that I don't even know how to process. I don't even know how to comprehend almost because it's it's so guttural the way these things kind of you know how how crazy these guys have built this to be, you know, if you had eyes inside your head what would you see well in a lot of the trees I'm starting to notice that they all look like neuron pathways they look they don't look like normal tree branches they just look different and odd and then I think about the amygdala and 
they are inside your brain. Immediately, they are, they're left and right along your corpus callosum or the middle split of your brain in the middle of your head. And so it's like, these are all parts of your brain that if you had eyes inside your head, you would see. You would be able to view them. And I'm hoping these aren't the <laughs> amygdala and neural pathways of Miyazaki-san because uh, he got some issues. I mean, he got rats in his brain. <laughs> He's got these weird multi-armed claw creatures. He's got all sorts of stuff in his brain to mold. Okay, so this is probably another... Yeah, okay, so... Mold that grows from rotten flesh and blood inside the old labyrinth. Matures to bear giant spores. Um, exquisite eyeball <laughs> removed quickly after death or perhaps even before. Yeesh. These are the same as stillborn infants. And then more augers or those slugs. So these are all things that we can use in here to do stuff. Now, I have no idea where I'm going. I've never done any of this. I don't know what you really get out of all this. Alright, so there's a lock gate. There's our way back. There's, looks like a hole in the ground. This looks like a small opening. Nope, no way in. Now one thing you guys did tell me to look out for are hidden doors. So I'm gonna be, hey, 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 hey. Ah! Get out of here. That noise. These guys don't seem so bad. And they're dropping garbage for echoes, so. We're just gonna kinda mosey our way through here cutting grass then. <laughs> By the way, the grass of the enemies. <laughs> Nothing there. Hmm. I don't see anything else. Nothing there. Alright, we're gonna go up this ladder real quick before we do the hole in the ground. And let's just hope we don't run into anything spoopy. Oh, spoopy. Oh boy. This reminds me of Sin's Fortress and Dark Souls. Oh, I made it through there and then just completely whiffed. Yay. No. And of course I roll down. Alright, these guys look red like they're from... Oh, bag dude. Hey, bag dude. You come into play. I sheesh. Got them down, but I wonder if they're gonna respawn. Got some Molotovs. Hmm. All right, that's a hole that looks like it goes further on. Oh lord, I have no idea. Ish. This is a room full of rats. Jeez. Alright, we need something a little quicker. Oh lord. I'm gonna get swarmed. I just know it. Okay, creep. Uh, get it. And see, I gotta apologize to you guys, because I, I didn't think anything of this place. I didn't even really know anything about it. Um, but this seems like I should have done it way earlier. Ugh. 
There's a lot of stuff in here, like just stuff I probably could have used earlier on. Hmm. Anything there? Nope. Anything there? Nope. Alright, this looks like a dead end. Huh, <laughs> get it? Dead end. Alright, there's a cage. Just a bunch of junk. Alright, let's get in here. Let's try the other way. See, ain't nothing to that. Something back over there died. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. <laughs> so, we're just gonna kind of mosey on through all this, and hopefully we don't waste too much time marking our, marching our way through here. Now, let's get on through to the other side. I see our target. Nope. Nope. Hey, none of that. Ah. God dang it. Get out of here. I'm trying to loot stuff, you big bully. So that takes care of that. Oh, fun. Something's in the mist. And then there's dudes over there. Ah! Great. <laughs> yeah, these guys are so weak. My no blood tinge having self is able to just basically shoot him out. Grief. Let's try not to get poisoned. What, you, what happened? What'd you happen? Great. No. Jeez. Guns would normally hit from this distance, having no effect. There's nobody over here. Nobody. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, hey, big guy. Chill. Chill. Whoa, chill. Chill. Aha. You're easy to parry. Get out of here. Alright, so looks like we got a switch. Switchy, switchy, switch. Switch, switch, switch. More poison knives. I love you. You did a good job. Alright, great. So that pulls a switch. We killed everything in here. I just guess we gotta go back on through. Hey, hey buddy. My friend Saws. Friend Axis. Swinging Penduli. I don't even know if that would be the thing. I think it's only Greek words that get the I ending, which makes me sad being a student of English because I always wanted octopuses, plural, to be octopi, but they are not of the right derivative. Ah, oh, okay, so this opens that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nothing there. Just more wall. Ooh, undead giant. Not looking friendly. Ooh. Buddy, you need to get to a doctor because those things look infected. Ouch. Ha ha ha. Ouch. Bibble. Hey, easy there with your old nonsense. What are you doing there, hey? Okay, 
Alright, so that looks like an AoE of some sort. And this is why I love this thing. Make blood bullets. Shoot big old blasts. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Hey, man. Hey, 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 hey. Knock it off. Knock it off. Yes. Oh. Get it in the face, man. Catch another one. And balls it down. Yep, yep, yep. Looks like we got another adept blood gem and some bloodstone. Thank you, good sir. Good night. It's a good night. Been about my house, Jeeves. Alright, so we got through that relatively easily. Elevator go down the hall. And we're through to the next one. Layer two. Okay, I wonder how many layers this thing is going to have. Because we kind of need to get a move on. This stuff seems a little, little easy. Just a tad. But I'm also being chill. I'm also not panicking. Because at this point, we have seen some shit. Okay, so that's a door. Can we just go through this? No, locked by device. Okay, so we had to flip the switch last time. So we got two ways forward. We got that way, and we got this way. Let's see what's over here. Oh, hey, fellas. Yay. You are being a massive bear. Oh, God. Hey, knock it off. Watch you guys like freaking flies. Alright, so did nobody drop anything? Nobody dropped anything. Darn it. Hmm. Hidden wall? Nope. I don't see any reason for this room then. Ah! Hey, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey. Nothing back there. Hmm. Nothing. Nothing. I love that it's making a sound. That at least is letting me know something like, hey, this is a wall. Alright, so it doesn't look like we're supposed to get that way. So let's try this way. Oh, we got a ladder. Oh, I don't like rooms with vaulted ceilings. Nothing back there. Anything. Hello. Nothing. Breaking your pots. Oh, hey, whoa. Got you both. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey. Nothing. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Just a bunch of nothing. Hear something ringing a bell. Glad we uh, didn't even see you till it was too late. All right. Jesus! Ah! No! No! Oh, I hear you. Can you quit? None of that, ma'am. Blood vials. Neat. Give us a good top off. What in the heck is that? Uh, it squeezed me? Uh, it freaking squeezed me? 
Oh my god, what the mess is that? No, you stay away from me. No, you stay away from me. That, that is too weird. Oh my god, what the mess. What the actual mess. <laughs> that rolled like a boss in Dark Souls. <laughs> oh my god, they have too much fun. They have way too much fun with this game. Alright, so let's head on back through here. So we got the door. We got through this area. I don't see anybody else in here. Got an item. More blood vials. Nice. Nice suit. Nice suit. Uh, hidden? Door? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright. So the last thing we gotta check out is coming across here. Cause we didn't go up in here. Hey man. Anything? I see you down there. Oh come on. Get the angle on that. What's up, friendo? Door? Nope. Of course not. Oh, hey, Bagman. Kageboshi no Jutsu. Catch this. Mmm. Hate that. Burf. Get your butt out of here, man. Got more ritual blood. Yay! <laughs> more blood for the blood god. I haven't found any skulls yet. I'm sure we will. More ritual blood. It's raining blood from a lacerated sky. For real, it's lacerated. We've got major contusions and... What the world? Ay, yay, yay. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. Where did you fellas come from? Is there another bell somewhere? Oh. <laughs> oh, I felt myself poop a little. <laughs> huh. oh. This is definitely not a vacation spot. Don't be goofing around. Definitely get back to the door and get the heck out of town. Uh, I don't want no part of this anymore. This is like where I imagine the Crypt Keeper lives or something. Hey, door. What you got behind you? Ooh, who's in here? Hmm. Nobody. Oh, yeah, it's behind this door. Well, who are we fighting today? Oh, jeez. More of these. Hey, bud. Oh great, one's got a cleaver, one's got a lantern and a gun, one's got a big old stick. Oh great, ah! Took that one right in the face. These are boss versions, so I can only imagine. Oh, can you not? Hey, buddy, get out of here. Whoa, one visceral and he's gone. Yeah, I should have been in here earlier. Oh, no, get in there. Ah, uh, bot, 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 Visceral attack. Sneezed you out of existence. Let's see if we can kill this guy without Fitzgerald. He's just being all gun happy. Yay! Yes! God, these things are so weird. Thumera Root Chalice. Hmm. What's this? 
that breaks multiple labyrinth seals. Root chalices used in rituals to break old labyrinth seals are said to change the labyrinth form each time. The old labyrinth was carved out by the Thumerians, superhuman beings that are said to have unlocked the wisdom of the Eldritch Tree. Okay, so this is what I needed. I'm gonna leave here for a minute. I'm gonna leave here for a minute. Because this is what some of you guys were talking about and gave me very specific instructions. Said you'll find this item once you find it. No. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, so. We're gonna exit the game real fast. Real, real fast. Hopefully, not get. Any kind of crash or anything like that. Come on. Load me in, chief. Playing online now. By the way, yeah, normally I, I try not to play online because I don't want to get invaded by any kind of misfit from the Isle of Lost Toys. But in the same time, Okay, so now we need to search for a glyph. Specifically, N Z Z N 259 G. Yes, we need that specific one. Cool, so we're just gonna go into this, man. Hopefully not get murdered. Now I've got some instructions on how to get through here. I don't know if it's going to knock our teeth in or not. So we're just going to mosey on through. Mosey on through to the other side. Hello, lamp. Is this a secret door? No. No secret door for me. Sad David is sad. Alright, so we're going left. Hello, ladder. I right, go up the ladder. Go, 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 go. Oh, God. Well, that didn't look friendly. Hmm. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey. Oh lord, these guys actually got some spunk to them. Alright, so. Which way are we going? Need to pull out my trusty hand torch. I know it looks like the way to go. Yeah, this is the way to go. Okay. Oh lord, why are you right freaking there? Hey, whoa. Y'all hit like a ton of bricks. Knock it off, would you? And I know y'all are red beats. Oh, Jesus. Mary and Joseph. Josephine, 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 let me out of this corner, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, 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 don't you dare. No, 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 leave me there. Leave me there. Leave me alone. I don't like you guys. Oh, there's another one. Oh, get off me. What a grave. I gotta kill one. Gotta kill one. Gotta kill one. Gotta kill one. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We're gonna freaking roll. Roll tide. Oh, yeah. By the way, if you didn't know, I'm from Alabama. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Alright, so that's one down. 
Jesus. We hit the pillar. Aha. Sheesh. 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 Hey, where you at, Bell Baby? Bell Baby. Ha oh. oh. Why spiders? Oh. Dave don't run from a fight unless it's just way out of his league. Oh, but Jesus. Hit the top of the steps, do we? Hey there, big boy. Oh no, not the frickin' worms. No, you mister. Right. Shush. Shush, because gush. <sighs> okay, day. Whew. Hello, Mr. Chest. What have you for us today? Uncanny Burial Blade. No, I have no idea. Thank you, Chest. I have no idea what this weapon is. And I killed those things so I could read it. Trick weapon wielded by German, the first hunter? A masterpiece that defined the entire array of weapons crafted at the workshop. Its blade is forged with ciderite, said to have fallen from the heavens. German surely saw the hunt as a dirge of farewell, wishing only that his prey might rest in peace, never again to awaken to another harrowing nightmare. Oh, BKB. Well, that looks fun. Um, we're gonna go check this weapon out right now. Right now. R r right now. Right, right freaking now. We're gonna do it right now. And we got a lot of echoes to do it with. Um, I wonder. Oh, Obi Nobi. Obi Nobi. I see your cannon. No, sir. That's bad. Bet you that's some kind of trap or something. You know what? Let's just use Bold Hunter's Mark. Whew. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're getting... We're getting out of here. Yeah, leave. Leave, leave, leave. Leave, 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 leave. Oh, my man. Mommy. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Mommy, mama. Ooh. Me, oh my. What a wonderful pie. And I haven't seen German in a little while. So I have no idea where he's at. Fortify weapon. Yes. 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 We got plenty of those. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's not a bad spread. It's really not. Hmm. That's really not. I mean, it's not as much as our Holy Moonlight Sword, but let's check it out. Why don't we move over Ludwig? Plus 59 physical, plus 9 arcane, plus 32 arcane. It's not bad. It's really not bad. So let's see this thing. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Yay, yay, yay. One, two, three. Ooh, and it's fast. It's fast. I like it already. And charge. Nice. No more R1, R2. Nice. That's a downward swing. Hmm. I always like to test these by doing the transform attack, so. Oh! 
Okay, this just became my favorite weapon in the whole entire game. That's a scythe. That is a mother freaking scythe. One, two, three, four, five. I love it. I love it. It's got some quick moves. What's our charge R2 look like? Ooh, that's got range. What's the normal one? Oh, it just swings behind. What's L2 look like? Ooh. Very, very nice. Rolling R1. Ooh, nice uppercut. Rolling R2. Still from behind. Backstep R2. Nice come across. Backstep R1. Got a good pull. Oh. Oh. My goodness. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I've really enjoyed this. I'm going to go finish the rest of the Thumeru Chalice Dungeon. I'll bring you back if I see anything cool. Maybe I'll bring you back when the bosses are here or something. But for now, I think that's going to be it for them. I don't really... I don't really feel them you know the bosses are neat but not really what we need to do um one thing i will say is that we're going to be finishing up the side quests of pretty much every other area except for yarha ghoul um because we need to do all of the side quest stuff before we get to that part because it progresses the main story forward so for now i think that's going to do it Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me a like. Subscribe. That way you know whenever I post new videos, you get to see them. Make sure you ring the bell. I've enjoyed this adventure with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it with me. I'll see you in the next one. Till then. Alright, Dungeon Dwellers. Let's get ready for boss number three. Let's get ready to rumble. We're back in the Thumera normal chalice. So just in case you wanna go, oh my God. Get in here and help, get in here and help. Oh jeez. Nice puppy, nice puppy dog. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Ah. Oof. Come on, big puppy. Oof. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, that dog chow. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this. I don't like this. What's up, big puppy? Jeez, Tomb Prospector, you're just almost dead. Yeah. Oh, gee, wow, wow. Doberman pinch yourself. Yikes. Let's get out. Oh. Full, full, full. You're a big friendly puppy, ain't you? That ain't got the same range, man. I gotta charge it up. You big poodle. Big flaming poodle. Central Thumer Chalice, Fire Blood, Gemstone, and Bloodstone. Thank you, sir. 
All right, so what now? Do I like anything else? Anything else? Well, looks like we finished up this one. I'll start posting the boss fights for these things at the end of an episode so you guys can at least see that part because the rest of this is kind of humdrum. You know, it's kind of like ho oh, hum, kill this, ho oh, hum, kill that. I'll, put, I'll post maybe some interesting stuff if it happens. But, anyways, thanks, guys.